Hi, this is Regaline Sabat, also known as Gigi. You're listening to Walk With Me Podcast. My guest today is Brandy Champo. Brandy is an author, speaker, CEO of Exploring Expression LLC, and a domestic violence survivor. Welcome to the show, Brandy. Thank you. Thank you very much. You're welcome. It's an honor to have you here today. Now, why don't you start off by telling us about you and where you are from? Okay. Well, my name is Brandy Shampo, and I'm currently in sunny South Georgia, but I spent much of my, I call it my formative time in Oklahoma. So I always consider Oklahoma uh, my home. Um, and I own Exploring Expression with my business partner, Nancy, and we make products that help help people, help children become learners, not students. And, and a lot of what we do focuses on mental health and focuses on exploring our world and on healthy expression. Absolutely amazing. Now tell us what inspired you to become a speaker? Um, <clears throat> Well, I had a I had a message. I've gone through some, I call them hills and valleys. I've gone through several hills and valleys in my life. And um, I started with what I call my survival strategies for when life isn't fair. And after I had written my first children's book based on my um, son who has autism and his therapy donkey, you know, I wanted to share the idea that sometimes life isn't fair. Sometimes life isn't fair, but that doesn't mean it still can't be full of joy. And, and, and so that's, you know, that's really where it all started. And now I talk about, you know, and I don't just talk about learning, but I talk about how to be your own best expression and how to live your best life. I love it. Now tell us more about your books. Okay, well, I have several. I've, I write books for both children and adults. My, most of my children's book focuses on a social or emotional or mental health issue. For example, um, I have one on anxiety, Little Lion Makes a Roar, and I have one on um, overcoming trauma and the feelings that happen after trauma called Virginia Possum's Pouch. And then I also write books for adults that really focus on both communication uh, my latest book for adults is called Hearing is Not Enough, A Guide to Being a Better Listener, um, all about how we can build better relationships by focusing on listening as opposed to speaking. Very powerful. Now tell us more about your company, Exploring Expression, LLC. So Exploring Expression um, th does several things, but it focuses on providing products and services and publishing in support of a learning lifestyle. So one of the things I push, you know, I'm a single mother and I homeschool my children, is that learning is like breathing. It should be something that's inherent in everything that we do. And if we can understand that, it doesn't have to be hard and it doesn't have to be boring. So a lot of our products focus on building curriculum and building you know, books and partnering with people with other children's book authors that really focus on getting to children in the heart of learning and also helping adults become their best expression so that they can be equipped to help their children. So it's all with children at the heart of everything that we do. Fantastic. Now you are a domestic violence survivor. Tell yeah. us more about that major challenge in your life and how did you overcome it? Well, you know, as much as we would like, um, not every choice we make is a wise one. And so I was married for, we were together for several years. This is my second husband. And I thought that through love, I could turn him into the person that I wanted him to be. And, and as, you know, as I went through that relationship, you know, for the longest time, it was if I could only love him more. And um, at, at some point it became a danger to myself. You know, he was very violent um, towards me. And then he started making overtures towards my children, at which time, you know, I decided it was time to remove ourselves from that. Um, and it, it was very traumatic. I actually had to send my children away. Um, they went to stay with my parents for about six months because my ex would make a bunch of threats towards them and threaten to kidnap them and threaten to hurt them. and and such. And during that time, he actually 
him and his buddies stole my car and everything I owned. So I had gone out for New Year's um, with some friends of mine. They took me out to cheer me up because I had just, you know, um, gotten out of this relationship and was rebuilding my life. Um, he came and took came up to the place where we were and stole my car from it. And here's an interesting thing. You know, you don't even think about this, but the way he was able to enter my house was he first entered my car. And he used a garage door opener in my car to open the garage door and they went in and they took everything, like everything. Um, and so there was a lot of lingering trauma. Shortly after that, that incident, um, I fell and I broke my knee. And so I, you know, I tell people that Valentine's Day, this was back in, I'm gonna say 2012, Valentine's Day found me alone in an empty house, in a wheelchair. I couldn't work, I didn't have my children, and I was waiting for my husband to come and kill me because he had always made these threats that he was gonna come back and kill me. And in, in a time like that, you know, you have to decide if you are going to stay down or if you're going to stand up. You know, um, and that's what it came down to. It came down to a decision in that darkest moment that this is not where my story ends. That's right. And your story did not end there and you are truly thriving. Now tell us, what is your why that keeps you going? Well, you know, I have th three children um, and through it all, you look at them and you understand that this is your legacy that your decisions and how you how you approach life and how you approach the the times of struggles that's your legacy that you leave for your children and that's one thing i tell parents and educators all the time when i'm doing my talks is that you know i always say if you want to raise a learner that they have to see you learning right if we want to raise children who are resilient who who understand the value of standing up, they have to see us trying to stand up. And, and throughout that, you know, th shortly after that, you know, we suffered a tornado and a junior high came down upon my daughter. And when I went to get her, you know, I look at her and, and she always knew I was gonna come because my children understand that no matter how many times life knocks you down, I will always, always stand back up. And that's how I live my life now, that no matter what happens, as long as I stand up, I'm better than where I could be. I love it. No matter what happens in your life, stand back up. Very powerful. Now, what is your best advice to the audience for walking with purpose and living a life of happiness? A couple things. One, never stop learning. Never stop learning. Um, there's always something, the world is a fantastic place. It's so interesting. It's so, in it may not always be good. It may not always be fun, but it's always interesting. And, and I think my, my best advice to people is to try to find that interesting thing because curiosity and passion and a desire for, you know, learning is how we grow and, and one thing my parents always told me is if you stop growing, you start dying, right? Kind of like a plant. Once a plant stops growing, what happens to it? It begins to die and begins to wither. And it's through learning that we continue to grow. And so I, I think if there's anything else on what you can do to make sure that you're moving towards your best expression and living your best life full of joy is to find the inherent learning and interesting aspect of life. I love it. Very powerful. Granny, thank you for being a guest on Walk With Me podcast. Now, where can the audience find you? Um, so our website is exploringexpression.com. Um, and you can also find me. I am at Facebook on Facebook at Exploring Expression, on Instagram at Exploring Expression. I'm on LinkedIn. Um, we do have a web, a web page. Or, I'm sorry. We do have a YouTube site as well. 
um, where we review products and, you know, basically talk about things related to children and things related to learning and how we um, go about living our best life. And we tour. So if you're anywhere, I think the end of this month, we'll be in North Carolina and then we're going to be in Ohio and Jacksonville. So keep an eye out on our Connect With Us page on our website because we're probably coming to a city close to wherever you're at. I love it. Ladies and gentlemen, make sure to check out Brandy at exploringexpression.com. And Brandy, again, thank you for being a guest on Walk With Me podcast. You have a great day. Absolutely. You too.